So if we have a sample XI, um, our IID random variables from a distribution with mean mu. And variance, sigma squared. If that's what we have, then XI is the I ordered statistic about the Levi end of the this last time just because XI come from a specific distribution the ordered statistic um, needn't also come from the same distribution um, by all means one cannot expect it to have the same main excuse me mean and variance. Why? Well, the simplest ordered statistics. Let's start with x1. What is x1? That will have the same and the minimum xi. Well, it's a minimum of all the xi. Well, I thought you can only once in one. Never mind. Oh, I see. So it's the minimum of x1, x2, all the way up to xn. If I have xn, that is the maximum of x1, x2, all the way up to xn. This is a good point to, uh, excuse me, a good place to point out that earlier in the semester, so in early September, um, First week, maybe second week, when we were in 2.2, I was going over a function of the sum, function of random variables. I believe I called it, called it S or X1, X2, X3, all the way up to the that's it. This is one such S. The statistic is a function of all random variables. The maximum is just another statistic. It's a function of variables. Uh, the reason why we call them ordered statistics and not ordered observations is because of that property that is a function of random variables. And does it give us information? It does. Yes. If you know the minimum, you know exactly where the random variable is going to start. If you know the maximum, you get some information about the random variable. You can also conclude that the mean has to lie between those two. Now that goes into other topics such as information criteria, you know, entropy and all. Um, so at the fundamental level, the minimum as well as the maximum are statistics. All them ordered statistics because you put the dots in order, then you can do that. Yes? Good. The standard notation for a density I believe I wrote this last time that all. Yes. Probability density function of the case f of x is the cumulative distribution function. But do keep in mind um, this is for the i random variable not the out ordered statistic. 
when I do the derivation, I'm not going to specify I because independent identity and distribution. Yes. They all have the same distribution. So I'll just call it X to keep things so easy to follow. Good. So any questions in this part? So should probably write this in there. I'm, I'm sorry, can you explain what, what is the subscript X of I to convey? The I ah, random code. Gotcha. So what when we write um, FX I of X, we are finding the product. That's why I think that again, because I have specified it is a probability that X I will be less than or equal to the X. Yes. Um, and that is not going to be the same as the probability of X subscript I within parentheses, less than or equal X, completely different. Good. Okay.